Heroes will be made and dreams will come true in the next two weeks. Who is going to capture our imagination by becoming the Cinderella of this year's big dance? Nick and I will find out starting in today's game between the Gonzaga Bulldogs and the Stetson Hatters. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Hatters know they're in for a fight tonight, Dick. What are their keys to succeed this evening? Hey, if you ask me, the keys are simple, Brad. First, get a hand up in the face of all the outside shooters. Secondly, make sure every possession you have is a good possession. Don't turn the rock over. And finally, play solid fundamental defense and don't get caught gambling. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They go into the low block. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Now trying to feed the low block. He attempts a jump hook. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. He keeps his dribble as they reset. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Watch your head, young fella. Fakes it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Off the rim and no good. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The frustration right there. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. Number 31 is eager and excited to compete. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Easy one. Looking for a good shot. There was no doubt about that one. They're working around the arc. They're working around the perimeter. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Gave it up. Number 31 gets the ball. He wants a three. Trying to feed the low block. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup for two and in and out. Down inside, Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. It's that what makes college so special. The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Nice hops. On the outside. Good fake. He takes the shot from the baseline. He nails the shot. Hey, 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 hey. 
Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Oh, yes. This just great hustle and great defense of the steal. I'll tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Excellent spacing, and that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on how talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We've got a good one going. From right in the circle. He can't miss. Teddy Shove Man's feeling it, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Entry pass in the paint. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Both teams looking to get things going here. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Number two takes the feed. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. And I think she's right about that, Richie. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have a great post play. you got a chance really to win. Tries for two. Stetson have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. In and out. Number two gets the pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Now they're working around the perimeter with a deep shot from outside. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Goes up for two. He puts it in with contact and all. Takes the pass in the paint. There's the trap. For two. They still don't score. Turns it over. Trying to draw the foul. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. He shoots from the top of the circle. Way off target. Gave it up. The power forward takes the pass. And he'll kick it back outside. He attempts the three. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. we go. Got some room from the top of the circle. Buried it. Entry pass in the paint. Double team now. Bad angle. 
Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. He missed it. He sinks it. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. From the top of the circle, he takes another bad shot. Bad shots killed chemistry, Brad. Great play to take that to the basket. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. From the top of the key, off the rim and no good. The power forward with the ball. This is what you're, he got the dunk and the foul. He went through that lane on a mission, Brad. What a great play. Check him out, Dick, he's taunting the crowd. Oh, Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. Number 22 goes to the line, shooting one. Need to make that. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see raw man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. With the fake. Got a wide open look. He shoots from the top of the circle. Misses on a chance for three. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Number 21, pump fakes. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Great anticipation defensively. There it is, Jam City. They scored nine in a row. Gave it up. Controlling the ball. the shot if he wants it. He shoots from the top of the key. They're going to find a way to get some easy buckets to get their confidence back, Brad. Absolutely. They got to get it going here. Launches the three. Off the rim and no good. Dick, they just can't get the shot over the zone. It's a great execution on D. Tries for two. He forces another bad shot. That is not all you would ball game. Mr. Nestler. The fake. Jump hook from the low post. What should they do here, Dick? I'd go to timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. Ball comes
comes back out from the, the bucket counts and one. Hey, great composure to take the foul and still get the shot off. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He can't get one to fall. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to nail with ease, Brad. paint jumps into the defender and he scores it off the glass on the outside there's a high screen goes up for two can't get the shot to go picks off the lazy pass on the dribble, gives it up. Let's it fly. Way off target. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. He's out of control, baby, out of control. was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Gave it up. Shots there if he wants it. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from outside, and he misses the shot. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? He takes it away. For two. And he missed. Nice fake. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. From left of the circle, off the rim and no good. He pump fakes. There they come with a double team to stop it. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. He steps up to the line. You, you can't miss free throws, Dick. It's going to kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the one thing like football special situation. You got to be able to execute there. Intercepted. Tries for two. Nice shot. Another look. Pushing that basketball. Pull up jumper from way out. Drains it. bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Picks off the pass. Three, 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 
shoots it. He buries the shot. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Three-point territory, way off target. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. With the jump hook, and off the mark. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hop. Great play to take that to the basket. He does the sweet fake shot. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Can't get the shot to go. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Not this time. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player is going to be an exceptional passer. Let's it fly. Drains the shot. He looks for the bomb. Off the rim and no good. it inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job a uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot Brad if they were smart they'd go two for one for three sinks the shot let's see that up close The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Fake. They're working around the arc. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Throws it up, hoping for the best. Way off target. At the end of the first half, the Hatters trail by nine. Dick, we've got a close one here tonight, my friend. Give us your highlight of the night so far. I picked this basket in a paint for the highlight of the first half. We saw lots of inside scoring in the first half. And I think it's going to be the key for both teams in the second half. The teams are just about ready to start the second half. Dick, let's see how this one unfolds. Stetson allowed the ball to be taken away a lot in that first half, partner. Not so much taken away, but given away. If you can't take care of the Rock, you're not going to win many games. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Erin. He takes the open jumper. And he missed. On the dribble, gives it up. 
Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Looking for a good shot. Dumps it in. Jumped in front to take it away. Puts it up. Off the rim and no good. Entry pass in the paint. He goes with a baby hook. This guy's not looking for anybody else out there. You're right, Brad. He's got a little too much to prove right now. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Makes his second shot. The Bulldogs lead by nine. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. They still don't score. Dick, they're giving this offense absolutely no good shots. Because they're keeping their feet moving and their hands waving, Brad. He launches a three. Off the rim and no good. For the deuce. This packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Got a man in high post. The power forward receives the ball. He buries the shot. They work the perimeter. The shooting guard, and he blocks the shot. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Gave it up. The Hatters have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? On the outside. Nice shot, Bay. You better get rid of it, Brad. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. He lets it go. Way off target. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Picked out of the air. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. The power forward receives the pass. Goes up for two. On the dribble, gives it up. And they get the turnover. Look at that spacing. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. The center handles the pass, shoots. He gets that one to fall. He's got a nice shot fake. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. They're working around.
around the perimeter. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. For the bucket and off the mark. Moving it around the perimeter. He goes for three. That was nice. We get another look. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got a good help side. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Working it around the perimeter. Number 31 is... It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on possession, Brad. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. He goes to the line for the first time. Hits that one. Nick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent to watch like they have. Yeah, that helps. Here's a flash from the post up high. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. He takes some quiet on the defensive end. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He goes for the trifecta. He misses it. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Shoots from outside. Gonzaga are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. We're about ready to start things up again. the defense here now stolen away gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face up position in the post Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. They scored 16 in a row. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. He drains the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. 
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great ball by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Side. Tries one from three-point land. Off the rim and no good. And he'll kick it back outside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. On the top of the circle, Stetson are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Throws it up, leans in with the layup. Fake! Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect for him saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. From way outside, way off target. Gave it up. Him in the paint, but went elsewhere. The ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, what a turn of events down here on the sidelines. The coaches and the players, they are feeling the heat, the message from the bench, defensive stops, and do it now. Thanks, Aaron. For the bucket. Up, easy one. They work it around the perimeter. They'll work it around the arc. With the jump hook. In and out. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Rims out. He draws a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He goes to the free throw line. First shot is good. the second shot. Rims off. This team has got to be so frustrated they are terrible at the free throw line that I think. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. Goes for the deep one. Off the rim and no good. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Stetson are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. 
Nice fake. Got an open look if he wants it. Here's the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block kick. He's done a three-quarter position, trying to deny, but Denny does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. On the outside. Here's the three ball. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He gets that one to fall. For two, and he missed. On the outside, he fires away. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. is the shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. And a momentary look from three-point land. That one goes back from whence it came. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when you post play. Blocked. Nice job defensively. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Stetson are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Executes the baby hook. They're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks couldn't cure. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Gave it up. He attempts the trifecta. Rims out. Spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Oh, I don't know about that call. That's one of those plays where I think the ref anticipated the foul and blew it down on instinct. At the free throw line. Opportunity. First one, good. He makes his second shot. some contact and he scores despite the hack
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. There's the pick. There's the roll. He takes the shot. Off the rim and no good. He shoots from the baseline. Stetson is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. He looks for three. Drains the shot. for three rims out with a little baby hook and off the mark Looking for a screen on top and got it. Buried it. The kick out. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Looking for contact. He gets the bucket. On the dribble, gives it up. He puts up the three ball. He drains it. The screener takes a big time blow setting that pick. Gave it up. Picked off. He shoots from left of the circle. Knocks down the three. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. On the dribble, gives it up. Up and inside. They work the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That's a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Number 14 goes to the line for the first time. Makes the front end of the one and one. He hits the second. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on, one team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Gonzaga came, they saw, and they conquered their first-round foe, Dick. 